I hope you're having a beautiful day. I've seen a tag going around lately and no one has tagged me, but I tag all of you to do the top 10 under 10 beauty products. And I just threw them all in my empties basket because I just did my empties video and threw all my empties away. So I decided to put it in here. So let's just jump right in. You guys know that I do love my drugstore makeup, so this was kind of hard for me, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna jump in first with the Revlon Colorstay. This barely makes it in under the $10 mark, some places depending on where you go. Some places will have it for $9.99. So of course the ubiquitous Revlon Colorstay, oh, it's just classic. It really is my favorite foundation out of all the foundations that I have. Um, and it's a drugstore foundation, it's fantastic. And I get it in the normal dry skin, which I think puts it over the edge because most foundations are designed for people with oily skin and most of them don't really come with an, a dry skin option. And I have really dry skin and it just works perfectly for me. Love it. Next up is the best drugstore bronzer that I found. This is complimentary for my skin tone. If you have much deeper skin tones, I don't know how well this might work for you, but for people with like medium to fair skin tones. This is a great contour or all over bronzer. It is, it doesn't have any shimmer in it. It's really inexpensive. And the funny thing is you can see that design really well, but I have used the heck out of this thing. It's going to last me a really long time. So this is the NYC Smooth Skin Smooth Face Bronzing Powder in Sunny. And this is uh, like, I think $2.99 at the store. The next base product are the Wet n Wild blushes. This is in the color Berry Shimmer, but there's also Mellow Wine and some other pearlescent pink. And those are all great shades as well. These are $2.99 at the store. They have beautiful color to them. They do last a really decent amount of time and these are just great. More Wet n Wild items are the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadows. I love the trios. I love the eight pans. They used to have six pans. Love, love, love. Love all of them. There is occasionally one or two shadows in a palette. Not these three ones, but usually the ones that are in like the eight pans that you're like, eh, this one's not super pigmented. But in general, overall, you can pretty much expect the same texture from like the Urban Decay shadows as you can from most of these Wet n Wild shadows. The one that I find to be most true and is my absolute favorite is the Walking on Eggshells. I've done quite a bit of damage to this one, especially that bottom color. I've really dug in there. Um, I just really like this color for all over the lid. These trios are... $2.99? Yeah, so the trios are $2.99 at the store. And I really love the brown in this one called On Cloud 9. It's just like this perfect hot chocolate matte brown. And then if you're kind of new to makeup, it tells you on the back like where to put them. And the eyeshadows themselves say like brow, bone, crease, eyelid. So it'll tell you how to wear it, you know, if you don't want to think about it. And you don't necessarily have to wear it in that way either. You could be creative. The next eyeshadow product I have is the Milani Shadow Eyes. This one is in the color Champagne Toast. These are fantastic. You can use them as an eyeshadow base. You can sort of spread them on there and pat them out with your finger or blend them out with a brush. These are fantastic drugstore, super long wearing, stay put, don't crease eyeshadow pencils. They come in a variety of colors. Occasionally they come out with like some limited edition colors. There's not a huge selection of these, but the colors that they do have are fantastic. And it says 12 hour wear eyeshadow, and I believe that these things last a really good long time. The next item I have is, of course, Jordana Fabuliner. This is $1.99, yeah, $2, yeah, $1.99 at Walgreens. And these come, I think, just in black and brown. Correct me if I'm wrong. If there's other colors, let me know down below. I usually just get the black. These things last forever. They stay put on your eyes. Um, and when I say they last forever, I mean like I've been using this pencil forever. <laughs> um, but the color actually lasts a really good long time as well. When you want to take it off, it comes off really easy, but it doesn't smudge, budge, or transfer throughout the day. I've never had it like transfer to like my upper lid area for my lower lid. And I've never had any smearing issues or anything like this. And it is a good, just strong black go-to liner really affordable and of course for mascara I'm gonna choose the physician's formula jumbo organic wear mascara let me grab the other one I also have the fake out mascara and uh, I just bought new ones of both of these because uh, I used them up 
So I love these. These both come in, I want to say at like $9.99, $9.79, something like that. You could probably find them a little bit cheaper at like Walmart or Target or something, but in the drugstore they're right at almost the $10 mark. I love both of these. There's also a black tube of this. I haven't tried it. I've heard bad things about it, but um, this is just so great, super buildable. It's just like my perfect mascara. <laughs> I haven't found it to be flaky or transfer or anything like that. It's not waterproof, so if it does like rain or something, you might look like raccoon eyes, but just like in general, walking around during the day, I've never had any issues with this and I love it. It applies really well, doesn't flake, doesn't clump, not weird, not funky. Yeah, it's just fantastic. And the last three items I have are lippy products. I have the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss and specifically this is in the color beige. And I freaking love this. This is fantastic. I love this color. It's super, super beautiful. It's really complimentary. So if you're somewhere in my skin tone range, like this might be a really complimentary color to you. It's like that dusty, rosy sort of shade. Um, they smell fantastic. Oh yeah. It smells like fruity, tropical, punchy kind of. Uh, smell fantastic. You know, they're not meant to be like long wearing or anything like that, but they do have a great color. They're not sticky. They're not stinky. Yeah, they're fantastic. And I want to say these are like four or five dollars and I buy my NYX products at Ulta. Next up, I have the Maybelline Color Whispers and this is, you know, sort of a newer-ish product, but they're very much like baby lips, kind of. They just pack a little bit more color than a baby lips. But they are super moisturizing, they go on really easy. This is one of those things you can apply, like you don't need a mirror, you can just pull it out of your purse and put it on. But it does give you some color and, I don't know, these make my lips feel great. They don't feel dry, flaky, cracky, or anything like that after. I just really love these. Lastly are the Revlon Shine Formula Super Lustrous Lipsticks. These just came out and these I cannot be without now. <laughs> This is the greatest lipstick formulation I have ever found at the drugstore, ever. These go on so well. If you're looking for something that like doesn't look, what am I trying to say, like overbearing or go into your cracks or look kind of matte or funky or like too intense, um, these Shine Formula lipsticks are fantastic. Super moisturizing. They do have a little bit of a sheen to them, just like healthy sheen down your lips but they're not glittery they might have glitter colors but they're not really glittery um they don't look like lip gloss per se i don't know they're just freaking amazing i love them and these are around the like eight dollar mark at the store this is in the color lover's coral i have the kissable pink one in my purse and i've been wearing that thing like all the time because like i said i just got them they just came out but i've been wearing that thing non-stop i just love it it is such a beautiful color so yeah, those are my top 10 under 10. Let me know what your top favorites are down below, if we have any similar things that we like. What could you not live without from the drugstore at under 10 bucks? Go ahead and thumbs up this video if you liked it. It really helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you wanna hang out with me some more. I put out new videos pretty much every other day. I've been pretty good about that lately. I would love for you to say hi to me down in the comments below or on my Twitter, Instagram, or blog. I would love to say hi back. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!